yeah, it, it's, it's definitely true because the whole acquisition of power kind of falls in line with, with continuing to acquire and accumulate more power, which is basically what the Democrats' goal has been for a really long time, whether it's, you know, what, whatever area of policy we're talking about. But you're right, as you know, conservatives, you're supposed to stand for less government, uh, less authority. And this is kind of a complaint that some um, Republicans have with DeSantis in Florida, that he's not using executive power to uh, protect the Second Amendment or any of these things. But he was pretty clear that he's not going to use executive power. Everything's going to have to come from the legislature. I think it's the right move because you're if, if you just kind of play by the rules that you, you hate whenever they're used against you, then you kind of lose the, the ability to fight against, you know, playing by those rules. But it definitely can be frustrating. And a lot of Republicans don't seem to understand why DeSantis is refusing to use executive power, which really hurts the messaging and the unity of the party. Because if, they, if everybody understood why, I think it'd be a lot more popular um, and it'd be a lot more respected. No. Yeah, there's a lot of Republicans that don't understand the argument of doing things through the legislator, legislature, not doing them through the courts, not doing them through executive power. Mm -hmm. But that's a really bedrock conservative uh, American government principle. Yes. But unfortunately, if you're just focused on the ends, you're never going to see that and you're not going to value it. Yeah. So... DeSantis has come up a couple times here. You're a guy who worked on the Trump campaign. How do you feel about Ron DeSantis? How do you feel? I, in my mind, he carries forward a lot of the good things about MAGA and drops a lot of the bad things. He's actually someone with experience in government. And while Trump being an outsider was a great thing, it also meant that when he got there, as you already have pointed out, not a lot got done. I think largely because he had no clue how to operate within a bureaucracy or how mm -hmm. to get legislation through. And I think he was manipulated by almost everybody that was around him for their personal agendas. Uh, from what I've read of how DeSantis runs his shop in Florida, he keeps a tight rope on his office. He's a pretty, pretty tough guy to work for, but at the same time, he actually understands how to get his policy goals through. And he actually has policy goals, whereas... Trump had policy goals, but I don't know if they came from a place of principle so much as these are things that I said at, at a rally that did well, and I just kept saying them, and now I'm in the White House. So I, I don't know. I, I'm hopeful about DeSantis. However, I could definitely see Trump running, and obviously he wouldn't put himself in front of the bus that is Donald Trump, although he might get on the bus that is Donald Trump. So where do you see that going? Yeah, I mean, it definitely feels like Trump is going to run again, um, you know, getting out, doing the rallies again. Totally. Um, it, if I had to guess right now, DeSantis would probably be his, be the number one pick for uh, vice president. Um, it would it would be if I was if I was Trump, I would definitely pick DeSantis. I think um, I don't really. I'm not sure it's best if Trump runs again um, for a plethora of reasons. Um, another kind of dark horse candidate that I've heard mentioned a few times that I'm definitely interested in would, would be um, uh, General Flynn. Uh, obviously problematic with, you know, kind of the way he was forced out um, from the, you know, 17 days into the Trump administration, but they're still friends, you know, they're still friendly. I, I think it was Flynn actually that kind of got him out on, you know, the, the rally trail again to do these rallies. Um, so they're still obviously like working together politically. And I think Flynn, kind of like DeSantis, brings some of the better aspects of the America First movement um, without, without some of the baggage that you get with Trump. Um, obviously, you're still going to have the entire corporate press turned against him, as you will any whoever is nominated as a Republican is going to get the same treatment. You just know that Donald Trump is going to get it so much worse than everybody else. Um, as far as DeSantis specifically, um, I think he. I'm not sure that he he was he's ready for the presidency. 
Uh, and, and maybe that's my naivety or maybe that's my selfishness because I want him to remain governor uh, because I know that whatever uh, policies come out of the White House, that we're going to have at least some protection or an insulation from that as long as he remains governor. Um, so I definitely don't want to lose him um, as governor of Florida. Um, I'd, I think he would be way better than a lot of the other names that have been thrown around uh, for, for president. I don't think Christy Noem should run. I don't believe in Christy Noem um, as a leader of the Republican Party, of conservatism. I don't believe that she would stand firm really at all, um, as evidenced by you know her handling of the transgenderism issue with the um, in, 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 with the with the high school sports. So we don't really have a lot of options to choose from right now. So DeSantis, as much as I would hate to lose him, would probably be my second choice to run behind Flynn right now. Um, but I think most likely what ends up happening is is Trump runs again uh, and probably ends up picking um, DeSantis as his VP. Um, I'm not sure if DeSantis will say yes to that because um, he's he's been fairly consistent in saying that he wants to stay governor of Florida and that's what he's focused that's on. What they all say, come on now. That, 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 I, I agree, 100% agree. Um, but I'm also not sure that he would give it up for the VP slot. Um, hey, I Trump's could, pretty old. He eats yes. a lot of McDonald's. He never exercises. This is a good VP slot to have at this point. Uh, well, it's the second best in history behind what Kamala <laughs> got. So, um, although there's a new poll out that 64% of, uh, of Americans don't think that she's ready uh, to be president. So that's going to be interesting to see that's moving forward. Low, considering she fell apart before she even had yeah. her Yeah, I didn't look at the, uh, the the sample size of each party, but I wouldn't be surprised if it was, if it was skewed a little bit to make it even you know, more manageable. And evidently, uh, heads of state in Europe are taking bets on uh, cases of wine to see how long um, Biden will last. I saw that report a couple of days ago. So... So that's you know always reassuring whenever nobody has any faith in the leader of the free world that he can even live out his term. Um, but yeah, I think DeSantis probably is is in the running for sure. Um, but I think Trump will probably end up running again 